My name is Cody Mills. I'm from Colby, Kansas, and I joined the military uh, right after I graduated high school. I signed up uh, my junior year and basically for benefits, for college money, for uh, just a different experience. <clears throat> I grew up in a pretty small town, like 6,000 or 7,000 people, kind of like Sandpoint, not near as cool. I mean, it's in Kansas. And uh, so I joined, uh, you know, got in like a month after I graduated high school, just left and, and just did it. And I signed up as a uh, Black Hawk uh, helicopter crew chief. And when I signed up, I mean, I really didn't know what was all involved. I just saw those three words and it was just a really cool sounding job. And Afghanistan was interesting. It was a good experience. I really didn't have, you know, long lasting effects. Um, you know, a couple of close calls here and there. You know, we had, we had weapons, we had big machine guns. Each of the crew chiefs on each side of the helicopter had you know, big machine guns, and we went on missions almost every day. So, uh, but it was a, it was an adventure, and you know, I hope we did some good over there. I hope we can get out of these countries, and you know, that's my, that's my personal feeling, and I think a lot of people feel the same way, whether they're in or not. Job with the Black Hawk, it can hold 11 people in the back, and so we did anything from uh, taking troops to and from places. Uh, we did, uh, you know, mail drops. We did food and water drops. We'd sl slung load where you pick up a load from underneath the helicopter and take it up to the top of a mountain where it's that's the best, easiest way to get this huge load, you know, thousands of pounds up to the top of a mountain. Um, and yeah, we provided support and like we would have two Black Hawks and two Apache helicopters go on missions and just like reconnaissance. One of our one of our guys in another company, you know, he, he killed probably a dozen people in one in one like raid. They were all shooting at him and and he came back uh, from Afghanistan and it, he wasn't back for four or five months and he took his own life. You know, so it's very difficult when you're over there and you, you do things and you don't really do, you're not given a reason, you're just told to do it, that type of thing. Yeah, it's, it's still pretty difficult when you're, you know, you get shot out, you're going to shoot back with self-defense, that type of thing. But, yeah, uh, I never had to fire my weapon at anybody, you know, luckily, and I don't think I was shot out. So it's hard to tell when you're a couple thousand feet up. Uh, but, yeah, I, I think a lot of locals were, were happy we were there, you know, got positive response and, and negative, so... It was interesting, but I was just over there doing what I could do and just surviving, and um, that's what I signed up for, so that's where I was. I'm Cody, and I'm a North Idaho veteran. <laughs>